Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Nudge 22 RDA from Watofo and Suck My Mod. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here we are with the Nudge RDA. This is actually the two, 22 millimeter. I have mine in gunmetal. There's your scratch and sniff, your codes, your barcodes. And then on the back here, it does say uh, that you get the nudge with it, one bag of Japanese cotton, user manual, extra screws and O-rings, and one bag of comp wire, which means that you will get um, some coils with it. Um, and then it's got um, just the attention messages. You open it up, look how gorgeous that is. They had so many different colors and I wanted the gunmetal. I have no Addies that are gunmetal. So you've got the RDA here. And then this here is actually another barrel that has a different airflow. So I'll be showing you that. Um, and then we've got the 510 um, adapter here. This is if you have an, a 510 um, drip tip that you want to put in, then you would actually put the adapter in it and then you can do that and use that, which I think is cool. On the bottom, you do get your user manual and you got your um, Watofo giveaway. Awesome. The nudge manual, it shows you um, how to actually put it on there, how to install it. Their manuals lately, I think are really, really good. Um, it tells you how to put the cotton in. It tells you how to put the juice on it. Um, yeah, and then just start vaping and then it goes into different languages. I think that's awesome. I really, really like their manual. And then in here, we've got our handy dandy black screwdriver. Let me go ahead and get that out because I do have another one, but I don't know where it is. So we'll go ahead and take that out now. <clears throat> then we're gonna open the first bag and this bag has the organic cotton in it. So I'm not gonna pull that out, that's just cotton. And then we have, let me just put that in there. And the next bag that we have, I, it feels like coils. So this one actually has, doo -doo. This one has the coils, they did give you two, so we're gonna actually use one and put one away because this is, is a single coil RDA. And we'll be doing that, so I'm gonna put that away. And we're gonna keep that out. And then this one here is gonna have your extra O-rings and um, grub screws and things like that. Now I am gonna go ahead and pull out the 510 because I'm not gonna be using it as a squonk RDA. I'm actually gonna be using it as a regular RDA. So I'm gonna take out the 510 pin and put the extra screws in. They're not really grub screws. They also have the um, the Phillips head. And then here are all your, you have your O-rings are all in here. Let's just go ahead and put those back in there. Oops, don't wanna lose them. Put that in there. I'm trying to do this on the camera. It's like trying to use like an arm of a machine when you're like not looking at it. So we're gonna keep that. Get that little piece of metal there. Okay, so I'm gonna put that away here and then I'll put my O-ring in afterwards. So I'm gonna set that aside. And we're actually gonna be putting that on here after I take out the pin. Let's just take this out. Of course, this is not gonna work on it. So I'll get my flathead and do it this way. We're just gonna go ahead and take that pin out and take the cover off of first. Okay. Makes it a little bit easier when you're trying to get the pin and the cover's not turning with it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and unscrew that. Okay, so that's coming right out. And it does um, have, like I said, the squonk pin's already included in it. And it's also got the little um, washer thing on it, which this already has one on it. I'm gonna put that in so that it's not gonna, or what do I call it a washer? It's an O-ring to protect it from leaking. And so it'll grip better, there you go. Put that in there. Okay, and put that all the way in there. Sorry that you have to watch this part. I should have switched it out, but I didn't want to open the bags without you guys. So there we go. It's nice and tight in there. So there's the deck. I'm going to just put this aside over here. That way I don't lose it. I'm just going to put this on here so that you can see the deck. And then we'll go ahead and build on this. So here we go. 
zoom in to the deck. So here's the deck. It is a 22 millimeter. Let me go ahead and show you the bottom before I screw this in. I'm doing shit ass backwards today. You notice that? Kind of like off my mark having to change that pin out. On the bottom, it does say Suck My Mod because this is a collaboration between Watofo and Suck My Mod. And it is um, a Watofo product. And yeah, Matt from Suck My Mod has come out with the Nudge 24 and now the Nudge 22. And I think that he's doing a fabulous job, like absolutely fabulous. Okay, so here we go. We've got our deck. We've got the four screws. It does come with extra screws. And then here are your air flows right here and right here. Let me show you the caps. This is the additional cap that they give you. And this is the Suck My Mod emblem. And then Nudge. And then there you go. And then here's the other one. Looking at that, Nudge. Another airflow. Suck My Mod emblem. This one does have the really big 810 um, right here for you. See? There you go. The O-rings are actually in here, so you can use any 810 um, compatible drip tip that you want. I have some of my own that I will probably be switching it out to, but for now, we're going to keep that. This one, again, does have a bigger airflow than this one um, for all intents and purposes. I'm actually going to start with this one. This one would give it more restrictive. I mean, I'll try it out when, when we get up top, but for now, I really want to concentrate on the bigger one. And then here we are back again. We're back again. Let's go ahead and um, build on it. Do you see the size of this? Look at this juice well. I love the wicking channel. It's like really, really deep. I really like this a lot. It looks like it's got a lot of space for a lot of cotton and um, not a lot like you're gonna overdo it, but yeah. Let me see, my arms are, how am I gonna put this? Yeah, no, I want it down. So I'm gonna use these arms. So I want mine facing down and I'll show you what I mean in a second. When you loosen up the screws, the sides go up. If you notice right there, this one is actually closed. And then this one here is closed. And then this one is up. I want to make it all the way up. See? All right. Now, see, there's two ways that you can actually put the coil. You can lay the coil like this, which if you lay it like this, then you can push it down and make it lower but I prefer to use it like this where it's automatically going to be lower into the deck. So I'm gonna put this in and then I'll show you what I mean. So I have a leg over here, the left leg, that is the one I opened, and then I've got this leg here. I'm gonna put that over there, there we go. I'm just gonna hold it in the middle with my eyeballs. Come on, get in there. There we go, stay there so I can screw that down. I'm gonna keep it somewhat centered. There we go. Tighten that one in, holding this one, tighten that one in, and then I'll show you what I mean. See, it's already lowered down to the airflow. Now I can raise it up a little bit, but I don't have to smush it down, you see? There we go. So the airflow is right there. And the airflow is right here. And there we go. Now, in this case, actually, because of the airflow being there, I really wanted to go under my coil. So you know what? We're gonna switch this around so that you can also see it the other way. And I'm gonna make it the original way that it was. Let me show you. I'm gonna show you the difference because there are two different ways of actually putting them in here if you want them raised or lowered. I prefer to have my airflow hit just the bottom of the coil. So we're gonna do it the opposite way. It sort of reminds me of like the original Ferro RDA. You could do the same thing as a single coil. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put this in like this. And it's gonna actually be standing up rather than laying down. Get that leg in there. There we go. I'm gonna put this leg over here. There we go. Center that right there. Put that down. There we go. And then tighten this side. And I'll show you what I mean about it being raised. Usually if, oops, usually if it, it would help if I was in the camera, right? Loosen this up so I can straighten it out just a little bit. There we go. Oops. 
I'll put something here to hold it right there. Don't want to hold it right there in the middle. Um, usually, what I was trying to say is usually your airflow is right in the middle on the bottom. For that case, you want to drop it down. But in this case, because the airflows are on the side, I wanted to actually reach the bottom of the coils. So I'm going to show you after I straighten this up a little bit. All right, so you can see the coil there. If you notice, it's literally going to be hitting the bottom of the coil. So it's gonna go here and it's gonna hit the bottom. So I'm gonna raise it just a hair. There we go. And that's it, see? There we go. So the airflow is there. It's actually gonna be hitting the bottom of the coil. Okay, so let's go ahead and clip our leads. Sorry about that um, change of heart there. So that's one. One is six in your finger, that's awesome. And now we've got two. There we go. I love the fact that they actually give you room here to fit your, your cutters. Like say for instance, I'm gonna go in here. I can literally, I've got like this space right here to cut it. So it's not like it's gonna be way out here and there's gonna be some stuff. So there we go. It's nice and centered. So what I'm gonna do is just start dry firing the coil and get it to glow evenly. And this is coming out at a 0.22 right now. But of course it hasn't been fired yet. Got my handy dandy tweezers. It's already starting to color. The only thing I will say is that I didn't see anywhere where it actually says the material that is used for the coils. Um, I'm guessing because of the coloring that it's gonna be like a nichrome but I can't guarantee that and I, I wouldn't, you know, stick anything on there because I really don't know. Let's position this a little bit more, straighten that out a little bit. Almost. Okay, so just about there. Almost. Okay, there we go. Glowing evenly from the middle out. So I'm gonna let that cool down and then we'll wick it. Okay, so we've got that cooled down. I went ahead and grabbed my Kendo Vape Cotton Gold Edition. We're gonna be using that. I did go ahead and cut a piece off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just smooth it out a little bit. Take a tiny bit off here. And then just twist up the end. Put it right through our coil. There we go, come on, there we go. Okay, get that through there, not too tight, not too loose. That's very, very important. If you have it too tight, then you're gonna actually be like um, suffocating the cotton and then it's harder for it to wick. So you definitely don't wanna do that. I do like to fluff out my cotton always, every day. Doesn't matter what I'm vaping or what I'm building on. I'm go ahead and cut some of this off and cut some of this off. Got my pretty bow going on. I'm gonna put this in here. Really, really nice. I really love this juice well. This juice well is like crazy, or wicking channel, whatever you wanna call it. Place for the cotton so they can get the juice. It really is deep. I really like that. So I'm just gonna put that in there. And there we go. Yep, all put together. So for today, I am actually going to vape on trying to figure out which one I wanted, but I think I'm gonna do this um, bubble gum. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I've got a review coming for this, Bubble Gum Millions from IVG Sweets. Yum. Um, I, I don't wanna spoil the review, but yum. So let me go ahead and turn this up. Actually, you know what? I wanna put this on a different device. Let's take this off. I have the perfect device that I've been dying to get a really, really nice single coil RDA for. And put it on here. Okay, so we're actually gonna be putting this on my Wendy Vapes Raft Mods box. This is from raftmods.com. Oops, I got my door on backwards. There you go. It is a regulated device. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that with a little potentiometer and everything on there. 
Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and start wetting our wicks. Like I always do, put it on the coil, make sure it's soaking into the cotton that's within the coil. We're just gonna pulse it and pulse it. I'm gonna turn, this was only at a point um, two two. Just gonna turn this down a little bit. Oops, sorry. Yeah, for me, it's a little bit harder, so. <laughs> that's my secret method. <laughs> I don't know what you guys do, but that's what I do. So we're gonna go ahead and soak this up. We can easily drip down the middle and no problem, no problem whatsoever. I really, really like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the top with the bigger airflow. Go on top, we're gonna talk about it and I'm gonna try out um, this one as well as the other one. So let's go ahead and go on top. Okay, so here we are back on top with the Nudge 22. I'm loving it on my Raft Mods regulated box, loving it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and have a vape. Oh my God, this flavor just like jumped up 10 more times. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Right where I put the coil so that the airflow can actually come right at the bottom of the coil and then go up is freaking amazing. I'm getting full on flavor. Um, no problem whatsoever. I love the airflow. The air airflow for me is just perfect enough. Very smooth. Um, yeah, you can cut it down a little bit, but when you do, you do risk um, going to the side of where this part is. So it doesn't really work that well for closing it down per se, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Still great flavor. Okay, so I'm gonna switch the caps, try on the other cap, drip a little bit more because, well, kind of sucked up all the rest of the stuff. Put on the smaller cap, put the drip tip from it on there, and we're gonna try it with the smaller one. So let's go. Down, yes. I don't know which cap I like. They both have tremendous, tremendous airflow. I mean, flavor. The other one has like really, really wide airflow. This one has a good amount of airflow, but it does have that restrictiveness. But I really like it. I, I really thought I was gonna like the other one better. Oh my gosh, I don't even know now. I gotta do the other one again, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna put on the bigger airflow. I don't know which one I like better, so I gotta try it again. I don't know, I have two caps. I can use either or, it doesn't matter to me. Great, great, great airflow, great flavor. I mean, this is definitely a flavor RDA. I can just imagine squonking. Squonking would be perfect because again, you've got that really, those really, really deep wells um, for your wicking and it's, it's amazing. It's just, it really is. Um, I like the airflow. I like having the two airflow options. I like that you can squonk it. You can use it as an RDA. I prefer it as an RDA on here. I think it looks absolutely perfect. I'm not really into 22 millimeter RDAs, but because this is a single coil and because the build deck is kind of bigger because it takes up the whole area because it's a single coil, I really, really like this. I would highly, highly recommend it for even for squonking. I think that it's gonna be a great squonking RDA because the the wells are lower than the airflow, so I don't think that there would be that much um, over um, dripping or leaking. Unless you're over squonking, then of course, in any RDA, you would get leaking. Um, I think that would make a great, great um, squonking RDA. I like it and love it as a regular RDA. I have actually um, vaped it for a few days and then I cleaned it up, put it back. But I really like it. I like it as a squonking RDA. I like it as a regular RDA, but I wanted to show you in regular mode because everybody else has been doing it in squonk mode. I can squonk all day, but I really, really wanted to show you in a regular RDA mode. Um, cons, the bags. <laughs> Same comp wire on all the bags. That to me has always been a con. The other con I have is kind of subjective. It's that squonk pin. 
I feel that if you're gonna include the squonk pin that needs a flat head in order to unscrew it, then you either need to make this like double-sided or include a tool that would have both so that you don't have to get another tool to actually take out the pin if you don't want to squonk or vice versa, you want to put the squonk pin back in. It should just have one tool instead of having to go find another one. Other than that, I think that the build deck is beautiful. I mean, this is, it vapes. I, I'm surprised I waited this long to review this because I have been loving it since I got it and I've had it, I want to say a week and a half. And I've been loving it, but I just haven't gotten around to getting to it. And I've had a lot of other things in the queue, but this is fantastic. If you want to squonk with it, oops, sorry about that. You want to squonk with it, great RDA. You want to vape on it, it's a great dripper. Um, just look, you're not really going to do nothing. I'm just dripping right down the middle and I'm ready to go. Mmm, flavor is immense on here. So yeah, so if you're looking for something inexpensive, I can't remember the prices right now or the links, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave those down below. Um, so go ahead and check them out. I still have the sweetness from the e-liquid. Mm, yum. <laughs> um, check them out, and if you have any questions or anything, please go ahead and leave me a comment or a suggestion or any of that information. Um, also check out my Patreon page. My Patreon page, I'm gonna be doing more giveaways. Um, I do have a 5k giveaway that's going to be coming up. Um, I'm probably going to do one on my Patreon and one on my YouTube. So just in case you might want to watch for that. Um, and all my other social media is down below. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If not, I'm sorry, give it a thumbs down, but <laughs> I enjoy doing this for you guys and I can't wait to see you on the next one. So bye.